Welcome back to the program. Well, we want to tell you now about Sean Miller. He was a young Melbourne man who underwent two heart transplants and spent most of his life in hospital only to suffer chronic heart rejection shortly after his 17th birthday. You might remember Sean's moving farewell message that touched millions of people around the world. Take a look. What I want to say is that this has been an awesome ride and I have no regrets. Live life to the fullest because you never know what's going to happen. Well, Sean wrote a book about his journey. It's called An Awesome Ride and his dad, Cameron Miller, has released it on his behalf and I'm pleased to say Cameron joins us now. Morning to you, Cameron. Morning. How soon after Sean recorded that did he die? Four weeks. And that came as a massive shock, didn't it? Because it he did. thought he might have lasted longer. Yeah, look, we, we were told he, between six to 12 months and because um, Sean was, was, was going to tour the book and, you know, do the whole book thing himself and, you know, that's why it was all a bit of a shock to our family. We'll get to the book in just a second. With regards to that message, it was intended to be a farewell on yeah. Facebook to his friends and family and what happened? It was just basically supposed to be for Facebook for private use only um, because, he, because he had so many friends on Facebook he couldn't get to all of them. Uh, he basically couldn't upload the, the video properly. He went, to, he went to bed, we all went to bed, sleep, and he uploaded the video to YouTube and the next day there was 100,000 people yeah, I think all it, over the world. I think ultimately it went to about 3 million people. Yeah, yeah. What, what, it, it is such a powerful message, but mm. why do you think it resonated with just so many around the world? Uh, look, I think because uh, he was very raw in the message and uh, he, basically what he was saying was be positive in life and because you never know what's going to happen mm. uh, and that's how Sean lived life. He was always positive and um, you know you know, he'd always say to me, oh, there's someone worse off than me or, you know, he never got down about himself and was always picking people up if they were sad and, yeah, that was just him. Where did, where did he draw such courage from and such strength at, at such a young age? Oh, look, it's, it's unbelievable. I, I never forget uh, one day I walked into the room, Royal Children's Hospital, he was eight years old. I said to Sean, what are you doing there? He goes, oh, one of the nurses just broke up with her boyfriend and I'm just trying to help the relationship mend. And these basically two end up getting married. Mm. Um, he was selfless. He was. He mm. was just a guru. He liked. He loved seeing people in love, and he loved helping people. Loved caring for people. Mm. Um, I remember when a woman that he was helping um, lost her son, and from the U.S. Her name Sandra, and um, he was hoping to bring her across this year. And she she wrote Sean a message saying, "Look, Sean, I've never told you this, but I'm disabled." And Sean said, yeah, but your heart's not disabled. Mm. That was just Sean. Wisdom beyond his years. Yeah. Let's talk about the book, because he always wanted to write yeah. it. He was determined to get it written. He yeah. just hasn't been able to now mm. promote it, which yeah. is what you're, of course, doing. Yeah, look, it's, it's bittersweet for me, because, as I said, it's Sean's book. It's not my book. Um, it's his story. Um, and it's, it, it, in parts, it's very hard to read, isn't mm, it? Mm, yeah. It's raw. It's very raw. Like, mm. it's, it's, it's uh, you know... He wanted to uh, target it to a lot of uh, teenagers that are going through similar things, whether it's you know whether it's health problems, whether it's family problems. It's it crosses all all boundaries. If you ask me, the book. As a parent, I can't fathom what it's like to lose a child. Uh, how are you? What what have you learnt from this? What message would you like to get through? Look, it's it's uh, it's very hard because not only did I lose a son, I lost my best mate because that's what. Sean and I have always been, we've been mates and it's always been one, but I, with the book I have to thank a lot of people. Um, I remember when, when Sean spoke on the media and said he wanted to write a book and we were inundated with people wanting to publish his book mm -hmm. and we met a lovely guy called uh, Graham Bronson from AKA Publishing and Sean met him and um, first thing he said was, Dad, I like him, I've got a good vibe. We're going with him. Mm. I said to Sean, yeah, but how about the other people, other 40 people? No, nah, we're not, no, nah, we're going with Graham. Mm. Mm. Um, and AKA Publishing, who do biographies, have been amazing. Jasmine's um, in the marketing department. They've all been, they've all been fantastic. Mm. Uh, well, his, his, 
his death will not be in vain. I can't think of a more beautiful gift to give someone for Christmas because it, it, it shows you that out of such horrible circumstances yeah. there is a very positive message. He's a courageous young man and I think you're equally courageous Thank to you. be spreading the message and I know research is so needed, isn't it, in it heart is. disease. So the funding from this it goes is. towards heart research. And not only that, Sean became an ambassador yes. at 13 years old yeah. um, for heart kids and that made him very, very proud. Also, it's been, it's been hard also because um, my girlfriend of two years, she lost her job as well um, to come back because she was overseas and she ca came back straight away when Sean passed away and she got retrenched. And so it's, look, it hasn't been easy, um, but there's been some good things happen about, um, from it. We raised $20,000 for Heart Kids through Luna Park, um, you know, Bev Killick. We've got a big concert happening on December 2nd. Mm -hmm. Uh, people from The Voice are coming to sing 25 of Sean's favourite songs. Fantastic. Um, and it's going to be a very big, big night. And we're doing the book launch. And, you know, whoever wants to come down and meet people from The Voice and say hello, come down and that's, do a bit, you know, she'll shout it. I'm quite happy to yeah. talk to anyone and about Sean. Uh, and Sean will be there in spirit. He I'm will. Pretty sure of he that. will. Cameron, thank you so much for your time this morning. And we'll make sure we have all the details on our Today Show website. Thank you. Best of luck to you. Thank you. Thank you.